We've already looked at Google Docs as a way of capturing ideas in a collaborative way where students can add their own ideas onto each of their tablets and they come together on a single document. But there are other tools that are available. For example, this one here, Lino IT or Lino It or however you want to pronounce it, Lino, is a collaborative pin board and these pin boards allow you to stick post-it notes and images and all sorts onto the pin board and they will be viewed by everyone who has access and the idea here is that instead of creating a linear document like you would do in Google Docs you can add a load of post-it notes to the pin board and then you can shuffle them around and move them around um, to recluster them based on themes or ideas. The other advantage is that you can use the camera built into the tablet to take photographs of an object or even uh, mind map notes. It also is fully tablet compatible so you can move all these post-it notes around using the tablet. It's browser based uh, to give you the full flexibility and it does require however a free account so if you do want to use this you'll need to advise your students to sign up for a free account beforehand and then you'll need to add them to a collective group. I'll point out how you can do that in a moment. So the first thing to do is to go to Lino and sign up for an account. And the web address is linoit.com, L-I-N-O-I-T.com. Get your free account and then once you're in, you'll see this screen, which is your main home screen for your account. And first of all, let's have a look at one of the default ones. The, the someday is the one that comes with the Lino IT. And it just gives you an idea of how you can play around with this as an interface. You click and drag across um, the different post-it notes. If you're on a tablet, you click once on the color and then you click onto the tablet screen itself. And just like we did with PDF annotation, you can then just simply type in your main message onto the post-it note. You can change the colors, you can make it private so only you can view it, and then you can post it onto the screen. Not only that, but if anyone else is viewing the pin board at the same time, after a few seconds, it will update on their screen as well. You can then drag the post-it notes around, just find an area where you've got the hand symbol and that will allow you to drag. And there are some other options as well. So you can edit it and you can delete it. Um, which is actually the checkbox. So it's a little bit unintuitive that the tick is actually deleted, but that's essentially what it is. The other options that are available include images. Again, you select the image and then you can either choose the file, and if you're on a tablet, that will allow you to take a photo um, or choose a file that's already on the tablet. Once it's uploaded, you simply click post in just the same way. One approach you might want to take is to give color allocations to different students. Um, you will also be able to sort of collect things together so if you wanted the students to post some ideas you can then rearrange them as appropriate on the screen. Uh, this could also be used as a mechanism to post questions or to establish a running order for uh, a conference or uh, an event. We have quite a loose original um, schedule for the conference but you can then use this as a way of formulating what you're going to do throughout the rest of the day. So that's the basic interface to do with Lino. If we look now back at the main page, you'll notice there's a groups option here. And this groups option is how you can create a pin board where only certain people can access. If you create a group, you can then invite individual students onto this group and the pin boards that you create will only be available to those groups. If you create a canvas from the main page, then there are options to make it private for yourself, showing stickies to everyone, so basically showing the pin board to everyone but not allowing them to edit, or to allow everyone to edit that pin board. That is a, could be a problem there if you're trying to do something uh, and you want to keep it closed within a module, um, you're better off creating a group. If it's low risk though, and it's not really going to uh, cause a problem if someone stumbled across the link um, then you can just use everyone may post stickies and then the students can come and find the pin board using whatever de device they have uh, before during and after the session.